so Donald Trump got on the podium the other day, or just just today actually, and he was asked a really, I think a pretty wild question in this respect. I think some of these, again, I'm, I understand being not not being a fan of the dude, right? He doesn't have a lot of redeemable qualities, but I think some of the questions that they feel to him during these press briefings are wild. Are they like just makes like the way they sort of like try to set him up and goad him into answering in a really shitty way? It's like he's already a a terrible person you don't need to give him much rope to hang himself and he's always kind of tossed up in a weird way and i thought this question in my opinion was a bit bizarre but a journalist asked him about J- Ghislaine maxwell right or Ghislaine, or as as, the, as she's referred to in the um sort of like independent journalism world she's referred to as Ghislaine maxwell because supposedly according to ryan dawson she's well known for her um ability to pleasure a man via certain techniques let's just call it that so people are calling her now jizz lane maxwell but regardless right this lady is essentially being accused of being the right hand woman of you know jeffrey epstein this person that's had documentaries features about him connected to some of the biggest most powerful people in the world blah 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 um accused of heinous crimes against underage girls just you know the worst thing that you could get accused of these days right an app an actual um uncancelable um charge right there's no way you're getting out of that and then coming out and being like hey guys remember me and sort of returning your career is done for you some rap everyone could sort of agree this is evil this is fucking you know obscene this is disgusting so he has asked a question about um madame Ghislaine maxwell and listen to donald trump's reply this just again it's just baffling the people that he sort of like gives sympathy to and the people he doesn't like it's just really 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 weird uh, let me try to get up here for you guys to see. Put up your full screen. Um, Ghislaine Maxwell is in prison, and so a lot of people want to know if she's going to turn in powerful people. And I know you've talked in the past about Prince Andrew, and uh, you. So again, weird question to ask, right? Your president's not there to speculate about, you know, current going, um, current, you know, um, goings on in culture. Obviously, this is a myth. This is kind of an exception. But the way he's propped it is a bit like what? What do you want me to do? Sit here with you like we're on a podcast and debate about who she could probably name when I'm featured prominently in a few of the pictures? I think not. Criticize Bill Clinton's behavior. I'm wondering, uh, do you feel that she's going to turn in powerful men? How do you see that working out? I don't know. I haven't really been following it too much. I just wish her well, frankly. Uh, I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach, and I guess they lived in Palm Beach. Uh, but I wish her well. Hey, do- um, hey, Donald, Mr. Trump, Mr. President, sir, is Ghislaine Maxwell, Ghislaine Maxwell, Ghislaine Maxwell. This isn't bloody um a Karen that was pulled up for maybe saying something a bit racy in the supermarket. This woman's been accused of essentially assisting in the running of an um, exploitation ring of bringing underage girls from all over the world for the sexual benefit of high flying um, billionaires and you know warlords. And this, she might have ties to Israeli secret service and all this really weird, dark stuff. And you're wishing her well. 2020 is just a wild year, isn't it? You just don't know what to make of it, mate. Wish you well. As if, I don't know, she's on a plane on her way to go to, you know, to her first semester of Erasmus. Go on, Ghislaine. Off you go, babes. She's not going to Erasmus. She's not on her way to uni. It's not her first job, right? She's in prison, denied bail, right? I think, was it half a million or a million dollar bail? Because she was essentially Jeffrey Epstein's madame, who happened to also pass, you know, in more than shady consequences. You're wishing her well. This guy is a wild dude, man. And this is why sometimes I think to myself, why are people so surprised? By everything that he does or why people get irritated by everything he does when he does this consistently when he when he's so inconsistent in the way that he kind of replies to things i'd say yeah maybe that's the way to say it like he's shown you he has no real moral compass really you know if that's safe to say i don't think you get offended by if someone said that to him right he doesn't really have any he, like he sort of like goes with the wind you do you'd imagine it kind of feels like he has some certain things that he's kind of dead set on right calling it a china virus giving people nicknames um 
being against immigration sort of right but he hasn't really got anything that he's sort of super steadfast or maybe china he's you know he's got a pretty bad opinion of china that's about it it feels like i mean he doesn't like ms13 of course right um but god damn it man why do you guys get so annoyed by him especially some of the people i follow on twitter it's like every day especially some of the people that kind of reply underneath his tweets like trying to get at him and trying to trigger him it's like he's a president he he's kind of lives in a world where trolls are the only things that sort of occupy his mind's eye why would you think this would get to him really why let's just end the clip here whatever it is uh, i don't know the situation with prince andrew just don't know not aware of it that's a wild statement man i don't know her but we used to live next she hey, gets a little gratification because he's, he's living live in palm beach next to her so he gets a bit happy like that's like that's like a, a feather in his cap i used to live next to Ghislaine maxwell mm, probably not a great thing to sort of brag about right i live next to epstein and maxwell i was like i don't know about that dude man he's just a funny guy he just always i don't know he just makes me laugh just ob just observe, observe him from far of course if you live in the states it's not a good time to be you know an american but god almighty this dude is entertaining as f entertaining as 